Hi everybody, just a little announcement before we start today's video. We are beginning some major refit work on Salty Lass and unfortunately the video editing which takes a huge amount of time is going to eat into that. So for the next couple of weeks we're going to be moving to a fortnightly schedule, let's say every two weeks uh, after this video. So um, just to let you all know that next week we will not be putting a video out, it will be the week after. And with that we will now move on to our feature presentation. Today we're in New Brighton doing a tour of the lifeboat station with the RNLI and Prudence is in her element. So Gainer, where are we off to today? Uh, New Brighton and we're going to actually go to the RNLI uh, lifeboat station in a minute um, but this is uh, New Brighton Beach and this is uh, done by an artist called Gormley or somebody um, anyway he's made this out of driftwood We walked along the New Brighton Beach and Gaynor showed an appalling lack of sense for a sailor Nor did things get much better when we had the safety of the seawall. We also got to see the Mersey doing its thing, pushing big ships around. The RNLI is a charitable organisation which assists mariners when they get into difficulty at sea. It's completely separate from the Coast Guard which is a branch of government, whereas the RNLI is funded by charitable donation and every crew member is a volunteer. We are visiting the new Brighton lifeboat which does in-store rescues but the RNLI also has all-weather boats and we saw several of them as we sailed around the UK and Ireland. A couple of them a bit more close and personal than we expected. Never one to miss an opportunity, Gaynor decided to volunteer to try on some of the kit. It's a different when you have a row of No, no, I'll take it off. Just kneel down, Gaynor, like that. Pull it and kneel down, it'll go tight. Yeah. Come on, you can do it. So if you ever see people in their suits just squatting, it's because we're trying to get all the air out. Like Paul, now you come. I'd be careful this inside. You know what this means. She has to keep the suit, she can't get it off. Alright, and now I've got to get the uh, life jacket yeah. on. <laughs> With plenty of encouragement from the RNLI volunteers and the onlookers who had come to visit, she managed it in the end. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. I'm going to have my. Uh, I'm going to have my vest. <laughs> she like. I was going to say, but they must have to have them. Um, Right for the yeah, side. Yeah, so we yeah. Hang on. Yeah. Okay, so I'll cut my bomb on. It was clear that Gaynor needed to master her technique for getting onto the rib. It just wasn't quite as slick as it should have been. We were given an in-depth tour of the rib and how it worked and shown all the safety features that were embedded in it. Being a volunteer organisation, people aren't always on hand and the crews have to turn up, often at short notice. So the crewing methods were explained to us in detail. The launch procedures were explained to us in detail. Uh, uh, the electrics. Yeah. Taken on. The geography of New Brighton means that they have a choice of launch points. A short land journey can greatly reduce the length of the sea journey, which means a faster response. We can take the risk. That locks into the deck. Um, used to be here, but I think it locks, it locks into the directly. Each crew member has a definite set of responsibilities, and these were explained to us. That on radio comms. We're all plugged in. <coughs> you have the ability to just cut everyone else off and talk directly to the fence. I'm with you. So as you're on the beach, as you're going, as you're going out, okay. 
The helm of the rib is a bit more complicated than what we're used to. We just have the Mark 1 eyeball for our instrument. Yeah. We just have the search lights in here. Uh, all sorts of Oh, I see, and that goes over, and then your tow line goes over that. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. And then it comes off this bollard down here. Yeah, because now it's over. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I see. Obviously, it'd be um, yeah. so we'd go off to the side first. We wouldn't just um, throw it off. But <laughs> this is yeah. <laughs> Before we left, they made sure they got the dry suit back off Gainer. Just big enough bed. And then she treated herself to a tour of the tractor unit. I've got, I'm, I'm, I'm in control, but... <laughs> I've heard that before. And, uh, this tractor's got dual, dual thing. I'm driving, I'm, I'm launching the boat. But now, I'm going to try and shift it. So just the paddle on the floor, a black, black paddle, just below your left leg. Black pedal, black pedal. Oh, I see it. Yeah. Don't encourage her, don't oh, encourage her. Oh, I'm now moving Don't go around the other off. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, leave it like you find it. Yeah, that's enough. Yeah. 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 Y